Rebel groups and terrorist forces are in disarray and would soon be neutralized across East Africa. A senior representative of the government of the Democratic Republic of Congo, DRC, Claude Ibalanki Ekolumba, declared this Tuesday at the fourth meeting of heads of intelligence and security services of the DRC, Burundi, Rwanda, Uganda, and Tanzania. The current attacks that you see are about groups that are in disarray as they flee. They commit massacres on the way, so it doesn't bother us, especially since we know that they have been uprooted from where they were positioned or based. So, in a short time, we won't talk about this anymore. Referring to the recent terrorist attacks on Catholic churches in the DRC, Colombo said that the Islamic State wants to settle in the region, hence the need for a coalition to confront terrorism. It is no secret that the Islamic State wants to settle in the Great Lakes region using the DRC as their base, but they have already been uprooted in two bases, the two points where they were centered. But this is a problem that concerns the entire region. It is not a problem for the DRC alone. In June, the commander of U.S. forces in Africa, General Stephen Townsend, warned that terrorism has continued relatively unabated on the continent. Somalia-based Al-Shabaab alone boasts as many as 10,000 fighters.